If you're on a budget and looking for a microphone, this is a bang for your buck. Link is in the description. Here's how to optimize this Fifine Mic 669B on OBS. I recommend you first turn the volume gain to at least 25% or a little more. This makes it so it doesn't pick up unwanted noise happening in the background. Now in OBS, make sure the mic is being recognized. Go to File, Settings, then the Audio tab, then make sure your microphone is selected. Where it says Desktop Audio, move the slider to the left to where it reaches at least negative 20 decibels. I use this setting so whenever I play a game, I don't want the game audio to be louder than my voice. Right below this, click the gear icon and hit Filters. You're gonna head to the left side, right click and add these three filters. I will provide screenshots and an explanation on the following settings. Feel free to pause the video. Noise suppression. It removes background noises. This is my settings, however, lowering the decibels on the setting equals more suppression to your voice. So our rule of thumb is to start on negative 10 and work your way down until the background noise is gone. Noise gate. This filter prevents your mic from picking up bits of background noises that could be maybe your computer fan or your mouse clicking or your keyboard tapping. For a closed threshold, when the mic drops below this volume you set it at, the noise gate turns off your mic. If you still hear things like your keyboard, then try increasing the closed threshold. But if your mic starts chopping up your voice, then you should lower it. As for open threshold, this tells your mic when to turn back on. When this mic reaches its volume, then the mic will be active again. Compression. This allows your mic from peaking and it prevents it from distorting if you're going to be screaming or being really loud. These are the settings I use to record or stream. I hope this video improves your audio, otherwise if you have any questions or need any additional help, let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, click on that like and subscribe button.